This, of course, is a controversial case in China right now. Beijing has insisted that this is indeed a political case. The United States is going after China um, or Chinese tech companies. Um, what, do you, what do you think is behind the detention and charges? How is it seen? Well, if you, if you look at the evidence, it's quite clear that uh, there was no deceit of the, uh, of the bank. Uh, they have the emails. Uh, they were trying to introduce them into the court, uh, showing that there had much, been much discussion about Skycom, about Huawei, about the relationship, uh, that it had gone up and down, uh, you know, the, from the lower to the higher uh, branches of the bank. So this idea that she had somehow deceived the bank is a complete uh, nonsense. But what you do have here is you have a bank, HSBC, which was under a consent decree for $888 million of, um, you know, in essence, they were laundering money for the South American cartels. Uh, they got a slap on the wrist, and somehow it emerged that they were going to do favors, or it looks that way, for the U.S. government. But that case has fallen completely apart. And instead of acknowledging it, the Crown, in this case, the Canadian, the Crown Court, was forced to, in essence, end their case by simply saying, well, whatever happened, we think she's dishonest. Well, I can tell you, as a, having been in both prosecution and as a defense attorney and the criminal areas, that is not a crime, and that is, at best, uh, reaching for a straw. I don't think this is going to go very well um, from the Canadian uh, side. I think the judge would dismiss this. I think she set the date in October to give the Canadian government and the U.S. government time to decide what they should do about this travesty.